It's my feel good breakfast show. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Expresso. Thanks so much for joining us on this Tuesday morning. We're talking skin conditions now. It is slap bang in the middle of winter. What to do with your skin when it's dry? We talked about misconceptions, dry skin. Later on, we're talking pollutions, but we're also touching on products. Now, Fluor had also opened up and also, it's always good to hear from you. But let us know. 0839 if you do have a question. Doctor, I'm going to touch more on eczema and also the questions that we've had around that on the show this morning. Also, products. What skin conditions are aggravated? during winter? Various skin conditions, like there's a condition called rosacea, mm -hmm. where you get little, you get flushing and blushing and you get little red bumps and little pimples on your face. Mm -hmm. And that is aggravated by extremes of heat and cold. Okay. So um, that is, in winter time, it is made worse. Other conditions, we can get something called chillblains. So in winter time, you get chillblains or winter, hunder. winter, yeah. winter hunder and winter footer. Mm -hmm. So that is the cold causes constriction of your blood vessels and you can get swellings and painful fingers. I've heard of people that suffer terribly. As a child, I had it, and I think I just outgrew it. Yeah. I think it's all the red wine eventually, you know, <laughs> that you get to learn. But yeah. what, what, what can help for it? The best thing is preventative, is to wear gloves. Mm. If you're going out in the early morning, is to wear gloves. And often to use a, a fairly occlusive, like a thick ointment, mm. that will help, help prevent. Sure, the... I'm thinking of all our surfers that can't wear gloves and that also yeah. suffers from it. But uh, going back to products, what advice do you have for people with skin conditions? I'm talking now eczema. We've had a call about it. Uh, psoriasis uh, during winter time. Again, psoriasis is a common condition. About 2% of the population have it. And that is made better by the sun. Right. So, so often it is worse in the winter because mm. you're, you're covered up. Mm. So psoriasis, there's many treatments. Often we do use like topical cortisones. Sometimes we put people into light boxes with phototherapy. But with more severe psoriasis or severe eczema, sometimes we have to go with systemic like injections and drugs and more powerful pills. So again, see your health expert. Just quickly, different types of skin, do they ask for different treatment? Definitely. So you've got to try and... Each person, according to your age and your skin type, you have to use different products. Mm. If you are 28 years old with the oily skin, you're going to use a different product if you're 60 with a dry, dehydrated skin. Is it different to treat your skin, or should we treat our skin differently when we're in Cape Town or Joburg? Definitely. In Joburg, again, your, the humidity is lower, the skin is drier, you want to take a lip ice, you want to use a milder soap, a milder cleanser, and maybe a richer, a richer moisture. Can I use olive oil on my skin? Olive oil is a lake acid, and actually that might be irritating on the skin. Oh dear. Yeah. Okay. So that's, well, that's not a good idea. I use idea. it on the show all the time. I head to the kitchen and I just rub my eyes. <laughs> Olive oil is fine to drink, but I wouldn't apply it to your skin. Okay. Well, to drink in moderation in food. <laughs> this is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Dr. Ian's going to stay with us. We're talking pollution still. There's some more questions around our skin during this winter time.